Hi everyone. Today we are going to see a very different perspective about self-esteem. So I always love this topic self-esteem because this is the root of everything what we are facing in this world and it's very important. I hope all of you would agree with the fact that self-esteem is very very important, a basic need for survival and many of us have misunderstood the actual meaning behind self-esteem because nowadays I see a lot of people in the home fraternity as well as uh, I see a lot of clients and a lot of other people and they just misunderstand what self-esteem is and they're just going behind something for it and finally ending up saying that no I'm not feeling confident about myself so I hope all of us would love to feel that confidence in us and which can help us you know to handle all the challenges of life and also to experience the uh, very important thing called happiness but most of the times we are actually going behind pseudo self-esteem it is attempting to fake self-esteem and think that this is something which is really going to make me feel good about ourselves so I could tell some examples which I think you can obviously relate with and you could see in teens and also in young adults and even in sometimes old age also people would like to get that approval from other people and say get the compliment then, then they would say that oh this made my day and I'm feeling really great about myself and I'm, I'm not denying I'm not saying no that it would not improve your self-esteem but actually it fades away even after a few hours I should, I should say even not even a day and uh, you just go retrospect and think about what really happened when you attain something very important in your life. For example, you've been like really waiting for your promotion or really waiting for your degree. And um, you, to be honest, you could only feel that happiness for a week or two. And again, you'd feel that this is being fading away. And what is the real reason this is fading away is because it's not actual self-esteem. It's not the authentic self-esteem. We are talking only about the pseudo self-esteem. And the lot of ways we are trying in every day to fill the pseudo self-esteem by various sources. That is one thing is good, uh, like already told about the getting the compliments. The other one is striving to get that much needed promotion or in school students striving to get that um, marks, to get that sense of accomplishment. And also for some people, it can be getting into the love and feel that they are loved and that is what is making me feel great about myself and about the compliments I get from my boyfriend or girlfriend is making me feel really great and all this stuff is actually pseudo self-esteem and it's not the truth so most of the time in our day and in our life I should say on the whole we are all going away I mean after the pseudo self-esteem so why why is this happening because we are not conscious so um, there may be few moments in your life where you would have felt really good about yourself and been uh, having to experience that authentic self. So here I'm going to share very important tips. I wouldn't even call it the word tips. It's a way of life, I should say. So by which you can really rethink about how do I really become more uh, confident? Okay, how do I may up my self-esteem? Because most of our uh, in our life, our self-esteem is actually low. And this low self-esteem can lead to lot repercussions, lot many repercussions and uh, poor consequences in our life like um, poor mental health and also not able to uh, feel the happiness in our life and you always feel low, depressed and we always look out for other sources, you know, I'll, I'll do this, I'll, I'll attain that, then I'll feel good about myself. And we often go about this external stuff to make us feel good about ourselves. So I hope you can relate to that. But I'm very sorry to say all these are only as a pseudo self-esteem. So let me come to the core of what really self-esteem is. And I, as I told already, this is about having to having the competence to face the challenges of life. Then that's basic survival need, isn't it? And also to be in touch with the reality, touch with the consciousness and touch with your real inner self and also able to trust oneself at any point in your life. You just ask this question to yourself, when was the last time you were able to trust your own instinct and trust and you know stand up for your convictions and talk for your own self? It is after all yourself. How many of, uh, of us would say that I love myself? Because certain affirmations, we say like you know hypnotic statements, all this you practice and then you'll feel really good about yourself. No, it's not going to happen. And you're not like born with great self-esteem also. It's that we just need to cultivate this habit of self-esteem by practices, by practicing few things which I'm going to discuss now. The first thing is you need to be really self-conscious and you need to connect with the external world and be open to it, get suggestions, get knowledge, get feedback from the external world, being connected with it and also connect with your inner world and be aware of yourself. 
what you really want what your interest are what your goals are what your values are just be aware of it. that consciousness is very important and the next one is self acceptance self acceptance is a vast topic and you know people say oh i accept myself but i don't know whether you really accept yourself with all those plus and most importantly the minuses because you feel like oh i have this weakness in me how can you expect me to accept myself i'm going to fake myself in front of people or maybe in an interview or in a job or with with my best friends or with my colleagues and with my family i'm going to fake myself but when you fake your self esteem is really going to go down because its self esteem is not about faking it's about being in touch with the reality and accepting yourself even your harsh parts of yourself that is the first step so you need to accept your own actions you need to accept your own thoughts you need to accept your own feelings and it's after all you the first thing we need to accept those things okay i i need to take responsibility for my own actions oh i did this fine i i will take responsibility for it so this is where our self acceptance actually starts and the next step is to be assertive so i always tell in most of my workshops you need to be really assertive that is the prerequisite is you need to be confident for that because assertive people know exactly what their needs are what they really want and also they are respectful for other people in the social context and definitely they will stand up for themselves and they will not uh, let themselves down and nowadays i hear most of the times house homemakers as well as uh, no spouse women talking about you know my husband did not stand up for me the question is do you really stand up for yourself have you really you know uh, fought for yourself what you really want and for your real values and uh, what you really believe in so this question after all we need to guard our own self we need to stand up for our own selves so we need to assert and we just go by the own convictions of what your mind says and just for that moment you have to retrospect and think how uh, you not know, really good you felt when you really asserted and you know talked for your own self it's not like in a arrogant way or in a way uh, the i which is really arrogant it's for a uh, ownership i where you feel like your my values and my thoughts are more significant so let me talk about it to other people so that is more important and the next tip is to take responsibility so this is where most of us slip so here i would have i've seen lot of people you know young adults usually blame their parents and many people blame their own husbands or their spouses maybe the wife for whatever happened in their life maybe they are responsible i'm not saying no i'm not undermining your pain but then if you're not able to take responsibility over your own life then you can never feel confident about yourself so you need to take responsibility to you can't find the scapegoats to see and you are the one who is responsible for my life you need to see what to be done now what can i do to change it now and it's high time you need to take responsibility for your own life and that is very important and one more important tip is to have this integrity so most of the time now it's not like a moral value class but it's very important that you need to have this very important moral virtue that is integrity so say what you do do practice what you say and say what you do so this is very important practice what you preach and uh, most of us could feel like okay i would i would say something but am i really practicing it are you feeling that integrity within your own self are you feeling like you're an imposter are you feeling like you're a fake in those cases your self esteem will definitely go down so you need to really feel that authentic self only by being have practicing the integrity very important tip is just to feel the integrity and be true to your own self and be true to your own inner values that's very important the next one is to find out the purpose of life and it's not like you know greater attach a greater meaning to life or something i'm talking about basic thing you can practice uh following your goals in life what i really want to do in my life okay have some goals in your life and uh, definitely every day see if you are taking some steps towards that goal you need are you taking some actions towards the same and when you take a small step towards your goal i'm sure you will feel the great self great confidence about yourself so just imagine for a student i would say if they have studied whatever it is like physics chemistry or commerce subject whatever it may be 
the same night they would feel oh i've done something great and if you made your bed for to start a day and you'll feel okay good why are we feeling so good for that moment and also it continues the whole day also that's because you are in touch with your own self and you're able to do something the more competent you feel that i've accomplished something so those are the moments you feel really good about yourself so you all need to have a goal and make sure you try to reach that goal by taking actionable steps and not only by dreaming about it so this is very important because it's after all a competence that am i worthy enough am i really competent to do something it's not like a greatest achievement some people mistake this and just become workaholic okay let me keep on working so that i feel good about myself okay let me keep on trying for this uh, exam and and uh, go by every degree that i've seen people in my uh, counseling experience they just go after every degree and diploma and i have you seen some people who have a lot of accolades a lot of awards and after all actually it's not going to make them feel confident because they really don't know themselves what's really going to make them confident and they just go after to fill their pseudo self esteem because the moment they know okay i'm not good enough in some area you cannot handle it and you just become blind to it and just go fill the pseudo self esteem high time we need to come in terms with our own self and whatever your real self is you need to accept it embrace it and uh, pursue a task which is really going to add meaning to your life and now not just for getting that kind of approval and accomplishment or a compliment from other people and a very important message to teens also don't just go behind a love and think that oh this love affair is going to make me really feel good about yourself after all it's pathetic you're trying to fill your own self esteem that's again a pseudo self esteem and you can't go behind the drugs to make you feel good about yourself oh i feel i'm feeling confident that i've taken this weed i feel confident that i've taken the psychoactive substance and it's not going to stay forever it's all like you know it's all like artificial so you need to be find out who you really are and be in touch with your authentic self and that's the moment you could see that i'm really feeling good about myself this practice is what i'm talking about you know i'm sure all of you might have attained some few moments of this confidence and uh, you know without even knowing these tips i'm sure you would have practiced it like let's say being taking responsibility or standing up for yourself and not putting your fake self in social situation and showing your original self and feeling good about it and there are few moments you could have practiced but now that you know from this video these are the authentic practices which you can actually follow and not not by just knowing this or not just knowledge is going to change you after knowing this start practicing it that is going to change you forever and i'm sure after practicing few of these tips i'm sure you will be in align with your original self you in alignment with your original self and with the reality the more you trust yourself the more you strong feel about yourself and you i'm sure i can guarantee that you will not be actually uh, disturbed or influenced by the comments given by your spouse be it your manager be anyone for that matter you will be a very strong version because you know who you are you know what you are doing everything you know about yourself so it's not that you need to attain it from the external world so just follow these authentic practices which have lift uh, listed in this video and also do comment to see how you feel when you practice these thing and how conscious you are in with your own self so please do let me know and uh, when you practice this i'm sure we all will become very confident about ourselves and this confident youth and every everybody who is having this high self esteem are the big pillars for the society to make our own whole uh, world very happy so i'm sure you would have understood the crux of the self esteem from this video and please please stop practicing and filling up your pseudo self esteem by you know going after money or wearing a watch branded watch or you know wearing a fashionable dresses i'm not saying you shouldn't do that do that but do that not to get that self esteem only if i do that i feel self esteem that means you're dependent on those things you just wear it to feel good about yourself only if i do so and say only if i have this much money only if i have the good looking uh, handsome spouse or only if i have this car then i am going to feel good about myself then i'm sorry you are going after the pseudo self esteem you're never going to feel good about yourself it's going to be momentary it's going to be there for a day or a week for maximum but then again you feel like i'm not in touch with myself no it's not me and uh, you know what uh, immediately you will be curbed by the self doubt think about it think about it and reflect your thoughts reflect on your thoughts and give it in the comment and let me catch up in another interesting video until then have a great day bye